This is a 140 millimeter PC fan, and this is the tiniest PC you've ever seen. Today, we're going to optimize a PC that's literally more than 18 times smaller than your current bulky PC case. And we're not just doing that for fun. We're gonna try to get 144 FPS in games like Fortnite and Valorant, all on a mini PC that most people wouldn't even consider for gaming. And the best part about it? We're doing it all for zero dollars. A lot of you have been asking me to run some benchmarks on low-end hardware or one that doesn't have a dedicated GPU. The thing is, we didn't actually have a true low-end PC, which was a pretty big deal. And after getting blocked multiple times on Facebook for offering $2 for people's computers, I decided to call it a day and go on Amazon instead. One thing that caught my eye was the mini PCs, and I instantly thought how cool would it be to see how much of a punch they actually pack. And then I saw the price and remembered I'm broke. You go to your job. <laughs> So after dealing with existential crisis for about a week, it was time to initiate plan B. To my surprise, it worked, and the package turned up three days later. And after Geekum were so kind to send one out to me, I think it's only fair I return the favor and introduce it to you guys. The PC in question is the Geekum IT12 2025 edition. It has a 12th gen Intel Core i7-1280p and Intel Iris Xe graphics. It also comes with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage, which can also be expanded up to two terabytes, while the RAM can go up to 64 gigabytes in total. It has Wi-Fi 6, USB 4 support, SD card reader, RJ45 connector, and plenty of other slots for all your peripherals and other devices. All of this comes wrapped in a sleek metal design, weighing at only 650 grams while also supporting up to 8K resolution and multiple monitors. Oh, and it also came with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed so I can just plug and play some solitaire or whatever. Bruh. Having said that, if you're interested in getting one of those for yourself, please check them out through the link in my description. And if you'd like to turn this into an actual gaming rig, you can get an external GPU for a few hundred bucks and have a brand new gaming setup without spending thousands of dollars. But here comes the real question. Since even Geekom confirmed this PC is not meant for gaming, can it actually run games like at all? Now, don't get me wrong, the PC is actually pretty decent for the price, but what it lacks is a dedicated GPU, something that you definitely love having when it comes to playing games or editing videos, but not really necessary for productivity work and programming, or even when using it as a home server, for example. Here's all the use cases I could personally think of, but unfortunately gaming was not one of them. So here's the challenge. Can we take this mini PC that has no dedicated graphics card and get it to run Fortnite and other fast-paced games at 144 FPS with smooth frame times and minimal input lag? And can we do it using just software tweaks, no external GPUs, no upgrades, just what it comes with? First up, we installed FSOS. It's a lightweight and debloated version of Windows 11 we built for pure gaming performance. Everything unnecessary is stripped out no Cortana, no telemetry, no Candy Crush. Just a clean, fast, low latency base to build on. It's also compatible with 99% of the apps you use and all anti-cheat softwares like Faceit, Easy Anti-Cheat, and so on. It's basically like Windows 10, but better. And considering Windows 10 will no longer be receiving updates soon, it makes it the perfect pick for our mini PC optimization. You can also get it for free from our Discord and give it a try after this video. The installation process is pretty straightforward. It looks exactly like Windows 11, but without the tedious questions, ads, and online account requirement. You just click next a few times and the rest is fully automated for you. And after waiting for about 5 minutes instead of the usual 15, the installation is now complete and we're ready to dive in. As you can see, it uses much less resources compared to a regular Windows 11 or even Windows 10 and only takes up about 9 gigs of space on your drive. But now that that's out of the way, let's apply a few more final tweaks to make sure everything runs smooth, then we'll jump into the comparisons. We've already made a bunch of performance guides on the channel, and you guys seem to love them, so I'm not going to drag this out with another 10 minute breakdown. I'll just give you a quick recap of what we applied here, and drop all the relevant links in the description so you can check them out whenever you want. 
So far, we applied the following Windows tweaks. And with limited BIOS access, the only changes we could make there were disabling virtualization and enabling performance mode. And even though it was impossible to do any overclocking and more advanced tweaks, it still costed us absolutely nothing. Now let's compare the before and after. As expected, we didn't quite reach 144 FPS in any of the games aside from League of Legends. As for Fortnite, let's just say it felt more like a slideshow than a shooter game. After installing our custom OS and applying the tweaks mentioned before, we actually saw some pretty amazing improvements of up to 62%, which is definitely surprising to see considering that we were locked out of the BIOS and couldn't do much there. The input latency has also decreased noticeably, with improvements of up to 31%, which in turn made the games feel smoother and much more enjoyable to play. Of course we didn't get a 200% FPS boost, which is something you might get if you hooked up an external GPU, but considering this little box costs a quarter of what a gaming rig does, the performance is seriously impressive. And the fact we got these results with zero money spent and without BIOS tweaks or overclocking makes it even better. And if you'd like to get your PC fully optimized by us, including overclocking, RAM timings, and a full A2Z Windows optimization, check out our website at framesynclabs.com and get your session booked as soon as today. Thanks for watching, love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.